All right, now let's take a break a little bit from the stories and focus on our conversation of the day. And remember, we promised you earlier, we'll be looking at how coronavirus has affected relationships in one way or the other. But in the event that you've lost your loved one, what happens? How are you coping? Um, and of course, remember, we said we have our very own um, much loved psychologist, and that is from last week's episode, and that is Wanjiru Kiyama. Um, thank you very much for making time for us, um, you know, again today. You know, we can't say hi. Mm. With social distancing, <laughs> you know, this COVID-19. Yeah. But all the same, we really, really appreciate your time. Thank How you. are you doing? I'm okay. You're well. I'm good. How's I'm the family? How is Mr. Kiyama? Mr. Kiyama is doing He's well. He's doing well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now let's just start with, because you see, it has, I mean, COVID-19 has come with a lot of changes. Um, you know, and this is for everybody in terms of how we live our lives right now. And of course, relationships have been hugely, um, you know, it will be actually hugely important, of course, for getting, um, you know, as through self-isolation, we have aspects of social distancing and other concerns that might place people under pressure. Of course, the pandemic has also led to a series of losses from, you know, a sense of safety to social, um, you know, connections and, of course, to our financial um, security as well. And remember, we said there's some people who, again, unfortunately have lost their loved ones to COVID-19. And um, our hearts, of course, goes with those families. Our sympathies and prayers are with the families as well. But before we even talk about then how do we deal with loss and all those things, remember we said we also want to hear from uh, from you. How are you doing? How is your family, I mean, coping with cases of COVID-19 in the country. Are you okay? Are you experiencing cases of anxiety? Well, feel free to give us a call and just tell us how are you doing? How are you holding up? I mean, during this period, are you at home? Just give us a call on 0791-478-990. We do not want to lock anyone out. If you have an issue that, of course, you want our psychologist to help you with, then again, 0791-478-990 is the number to call through or send us a text message on 40920 and we'll be looking at your questions, concerns, feedback, inquiry, whatever it is, um, a little bit later. But for now, let's just focus on our discussion a little bit, and that is as far as COVID-19 and relationships. Now, right now, things have changed, literally, in mm. all aspects of our lives. And one of them is some of the rules, you know, um, at home. We know women have the certain roles, men have the certain roles, but now things are changing. Can we just address that? Because there's some people who are like, you know what, can't you forgetting I'm the man of the house and the other person might be like, can't you forgetting I'm the woman of the house? So can you talk about some of these roles that probably have, have changed right now and in so many people's homes? Okay, things have changed mm. because we had forgotten. Yeah. The men had left the women in the house and the women looked like they are the heads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even the men, it's like they had uh, accepted that the women are the know-it-all. Mm -hmm. And in everything they would uh, consult. Mm -hmm. But now that all of us are in the house, mm -hmm. you are reminded that you are the head. You're the head of the home. Uh -huh. And uh, most of them want to show actually I'm the head. Mm -hmm. And so I also want to be mm -hmm. uh, asked questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, included consulted, or yes. consulted yeah. and uh, that is what is actually bringing a lot of conflict because mm. when you leave me out mm -hmm. and you leave me to do what I can mm. I get used yeah. and now coming to undo mm -hmm. what you allowed me to do it yeah. will bring a conflict mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that is why I'm saying mm -hmm. instead of now just acting mm -hmm. let us consult okay let us, uh, let us ask each other mm -hmm. what do you want to do what okay. what can we do here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is it uh, that you want even to eat consult him yeah to make him feel he's the head he's, of the house your, yeah and some women are asking at you are telling me to give him and he has not brought nobody yes. was prepared for this, for this it's true. I, I listened to an mp saying mm -hmm. uh, 2022 mm -hmm. They started preparing themselves for campaigns. Yeah. Mm. And even people are doing that right now, but very sadly. Yeah, but now, he called him a boy corona, he took a Okay, nobody prepared. In fact, yeah. at your place, like me where I work, to mm. the on the Friday, mm. and we went home mm. only to be told not to go back. Mm. Now, it just hit. Yeah. And I said here last time, some of us went into denial. Mm -hmm. Others said the government is joking, mm -hmm. I know they will open up. Yeah. And when it came now into reality, mm -hmm. 
and a woman who has been ruling herself or conducting everything in the house mm. finds a man now who is saying mm. no or mm. why did you do that? Mm. It is not going to work out well. Yeah. The only thing mm -hmm. that you work out well mm. is consultation yeah. and communication like I said dear okay. last uh, week. Okay, but now, because you see that aspect of nobody prepared for this and and there's some people who are still in denial and even right now mm -hmm. i mean i was talking to, to to our makeup artist earlier on um you know before of course we came on set and she was saying hey me me uh -uh, me i'm still in denial and and i'm doing this to sort of protect myself um because you see at the end of the day you look at the news and it's just sad alarming you know, it's just it's just too much for a person to, to, to handle. So some people are saying, you know what, I I am in denial, but this is for my own good so that I do not develop cases of anxiety. So does this help or it makes things worse? It's good to accept. Okay. Because for sure we, we are in the what week? From, from it was mm -hmm. we came it's actually a, a month now a in month, the country. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you cannot say you are in denial in a month. In a month. <laughs> You are, you are still waiting that yeah. tomorrow we shall be told. Mm. Listen even out there and hear what is happening. Mm -hmm. Like India, while you get their lockdown, mm -hmm. Uganda, our yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Then how are we going to be exempted? Mm -hmm. And we can only be exempted mm -hmm. if we agree okay. or if we follow. The minister the is standing yeah. here every day. Mm -hmm. Whoever comes, even the, the, these TVs, mumeanza kuweka watu wa kukumbusha watu. And after all that, mm -hmm. we are still in denial. In denial and yes. like today, I had so many were arrested in Nyeri mm -hmm. for not wearing the masks. masks. Mm -hmm. I mean, whose problem will it be? Mm -hmm. It will be yours, yeah. not the government's. And I, I feel sad <laughs> when I hear people saying, mm -hmm. this government, which government? Yes. Government is just giving guidelines mm -hmm. for us to survive. Mm -hmm. So if you want to survive, mm -hmm. go as per the government's requirements. Yes. And don't blame the government. Yeah. yeah. It did not bring In fact, thing. this government, we can say, mm -hmm. heckle. Has really tried. Yeah, they have tried. Mm -hmm. When does this man sleep? Mm -hmm. When does this minister sleep mm -hmm. and his group? Yeah. They are just there to inform us. Mm -hmm. And if they wanted to stay at home, mm -hmm. And they speak through media, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. but you can see their commitment. Yeah. And when they are that committed, mm -hmm. I said there last week that you can never live a positive life with a negative mind. Mm -hmm. Most of us Kenyans are negative. Yeah. Hakuna jambu tunaona nzuri. Jambu likiwekelewa tunalipiga. Where are we heading? Yeah. And that is why even in the house, mm -hmm. is a negative minds, the negative mm -hmm. energies. Mm -hmm are the ones that are leading to fights. Yeah, in the, in the whole and in fact, you have heard the domestic uh, violence cases, violence really cases have rise. increased. Yeah. Why? Mm. We are provoking each other. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. We need to take a very short break. And of course, this is a very good way to start off the conversation. Um, in terms of then, those people who are saying, I'm still in denial for my own good. I mean, are you doing good for yourself or are you not? Um, you know, in that aspect of then blaming each other, blaming the government, blaming whatever it is that you can find along your way, does this help or makes things worse? So that's a very, very good part to start the discussion. But again, remember, you can be part of this discussion. Or 791-478-990 is the number to call through. Or send us a text message on 40920. And, of course, we'll be looking at your questions, feedback, or anything that you want us to address um, a little bit later. But for now, let's take that short break. We'll see you right after. Stay with us. Of course, we are glad that you're still with us. Remember, our topic of discussion today is on the impact of COVID-19 in families. But at the same time, for those people who unfortunately have lost their loved ones to COVID-19, what happens to them? How are you doing? How are you coping? And of course, has this, of course, the aspect of COVID-19 impacted our grief process? Well, you do not want to miss any part of this discussion. And again, we want you to be part of the discussion. So whatever question you have as far as either dealing or coping with COVID-19 or coping with grief at the moment, then feel free to give us a call on 0791 478 or send us a text message on 40920. We have Owen Kiyama who is a psychologist and a marriage counselor as well. Just to help us understand how best we can manage um, you know, this pandemic, of course, that has not only affected the country, but also the global sphere as well. So 
of course, before we went for a break, Wanjiro, that aspect of then striking a balance. Because like he said, for, let's say, women who have been left to be in charge of the home for a very long time, so she's somewhat used to the control. I decide what we're going to eat today. I decide what the children are going to do today. I decide... Let's say what my husband wears to work, if probably they have been given that, that um, you know, freedom to that extent. And now everybody is at home. The children want to watch TV, of course, to learn as well, because right now they're learning through TV, radio, internet, and all those things. The husband wants to watch TV. The wife also wants to watch TV. So it's like a lot. I am used to having the control and right now I do not have. So then how do we strike the balance? Because like he said, if I'm used to control and then you're coming to sort of take it away, this conflict, we will, we will not be okay with each other. So then how do we strike that, that balance? Like I said last week, it's, mm. it's good to have a program, yeah. a schedule, mm -hmm. so that you don't fight even over the, the remote. remote. <laughs> yes. And uh, let the children know this time mm -hmm is your time to study. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This time mm. is your time to play in the compound okay. because you are not allowing them again to mm. go out and play with their friends. Their peers as well, yeah. You, and I said the first thing, mm. you know, people ignore children. Mm. And uh, I have been counseling children who got, who lost their relatives. Mm. Mm. Nobody explained to them. Yes. Everybody was coming and saying, mm. Pole, and they, they don't go. understand. Yeah. Today mm -hmm. is the high time we started sharing with them when they are small. Mm -hmm. Let them know about death. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. like now, mm -hmm. we have told them about the coronavirus. Yeah, others yes. have not. Yeah. So I told you yeah, others are calling the minister yeah, to a corona. corona. Yes. But when you have explained, mm -hmm. they will know this is the minister mm -hmm. telling us about, about this corona. Okay. Okay. So, number one, it's good to sit as a family and talk. And talk. We all need the TV. Mm -hmm. We are not going to buy extra TVs mm -hmm. because we are now all back all to the house. Yeah. yeah, we know dad likes football. Mm -hmm. So, you people, mm -hmm. watch your cartoons mm -hmm. and leave but the TV to dad to watch mm -hmm. uh, uh, his football, he football after he has finished with his laptop. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing governments or companies work yeah. and then mom mm. that time you are busy with your work in the mm. bedrooms in the mm. the housekeeping mm. uh, affairs yeah and then you they know your program mm. and it will come smoothly not like hey utakuja kukaa hapa kuangalia rajoku yeah. unawazea watoki kwa tv kutoka so asubuhi so true. Very no, true. Yeah. That should not be the case. By the way, if you sit like that, mm. ukitoka hapo utatoka na ugonjwa. Yeah. Because might not be COVID, you cannot like be the watching yeah. and things are being brought. Sane <laughs> chai, pengine na mandazi. Saa kumi, saa saba lunch. Saa kumi, chai na chapati ama na... Na utembei yata, ni hivi. No, let us keep ourselves busy. In fact... Yeah. Kwangu ninachekwa kwa sababu uh, pale ninakaa kuna uh, jaa vitabu. Na wow, sivya shule. Okay. Uh -huh. I am reading and writing notes. Yeah. Because this is a time God has given me. I True. never got that time. Mm. If you are bored in the house, get mm. a motivational book. Mm. They are very mm, cheap. Yeah. You can buy, mm -hmm. you, can, you can go to the internet and mm. read about. Uh, mm. I have a daughter who I call a doctor. Mm. Because ukimwambia what you are feeling. I go Google. I go be a mom. That one you stop this. So yes. I'm with a uh, doctor. Do, doctor Iwangu. Even any doctor. Doctor Iwangu. <laughs> now that is how we live. Yeah. Uh, let us not. Kunyamaza mm. itareta shida. Yeah. Now when u u u you are piling a lot things, of things in yes. your heart, mm. and that is how we get mm -hmm. things like hypertension, mm -hmm. because ataroho mefikiria sana. Sasa imeanza kukimbia. And it is something you could have shared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know, Winnie, there are mm -hmm. people who fight over dawa ya menu? Yeah. Jia ya kufinya. Mm -hmm. Kuna yule ya natoka yeah, from outside from going down. down. Ingine katika tu whatever. <laughs> Unaipata ikona <laughs> varis. Yes. Na hii unasikia mtu waki, bibi ya kiuliza buwana. Are you a grown up? Mm. Hii sasa ulifinya aje. Mm. Leave it. Tell him. Mm. Honey. Ye, what I, to, to, I way. prefer it this way yes. because we shall know Ikiisha. Yeah. That is positive. Sio kumuliza. Sasa hata watoto unafanya kama wao wanafinya ovyo ovyo na wao unafinya ovyo. As little as Colgate yes. or whatever. Toothpaste, yeah.
toothpaste. Mm -hmm. So communication really brings mm. a lot of closeness. Yeah. Because if I tell you today, mm -hmm. this and that, mm -hmm. Nitaona, you are requesting me as a wife. Yeah. And if I have it, mm -hmm. why not? Why cook not? It? Yeah. So let people practice communication. Yeah. You know, there are some people who are even sent to their wives and they never take messages. Yeah. Like this time is a time of calling each other. Mm -hmm. My sister calls mm -hmm. my husband. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to party my sister. Yeah. Tell her to do this, this and, and this, this tomorrow. This this. Yeah. Tomorrow in Africa. Who you ask? It word enmity. Because kwa nini uliweka hayo maneno na yako yako? Some men wanasubiriwa na ile tulisema taasubi ya kiume. Men chuvenism. Wacha isiende juu sana. Huu ni wakati wa kuangalia watu wako kwenda chini kujua watoto wanataka nini. Bibi anataka nini? Mm. Na sio lazima iwe monetary. Yes. Psychological, Psychological well. emotional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ni nyingi. Yeah. Watu wasifikirie mm. ati usaidizi wa bwana tu ni pesa. pesa. Mm -hmm. He knows a lot and he yeah. can share with his yeah. family. Plus he's the head of the home so and allow again, him to. Yeah. As women we are weak. Mm -hmm. Bwana akiona bibi ameogopa hii kitu sana. Mm -hmm. Mwambie okay. HIV AIDS came and we are no longer Did when a right it. Yes. Yeah. So even this you come and go, come my and dear. Go. To yeah. see your gope, yeah. kwa sababu ukiogopa, mm -hmm. utakuwa na anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anxiety itakupereka kwa stress. Mm -hmm. Stress itakupereka kwa depression. depression. Again, yes. we go to the hospital. Yes. Somebody today said, yeah. uh, we are concentrating on coronavirus, mm -hmm. but Kenyatta and other hospitals are treating many more a other lot diseases. other illnesses. It's so true. Yeah. Because to me mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let us do away with the uh, anxiety. Yeah. Let us share. Mm -hmm. Let us talk. Mm -hmm. Let us even love. Yeah. I, when I'm, when I'm medicine, doing weddings, yes. I, I tell people, mm. wale ambao wanakao, mm, hawaongei, mi uita hiyo marriage ya UCS na UCPD. Okay. Kwa sababu police station hakuna kucheka. Hakuna kucheka. Ni dio wafadi. Dio wafadi ni mewaleta maabusu. Eh. Dio ni mewafugia. Eh. Dio wafadi. Eh. Haya wafadi. Eh. Kwenda. Hapo hakuna kucheka. Hakuna kucheka. Hawa yeah. even the husband and the wife should not be like that. Afandi. Eh. No. Actually what brought you together is love. It's love. Let yes. it continue. Okay. All right. And right now I like what you said earlier on. It's Nobody prepared for this. So really, we cannot afford to blame each other mm. um, at the moment. So the wife should not be like, we the husband is like, now that aspect of then reversed roles, where now things are changing, um, probably you might be expected to do a lot more as compared to what you were doing um, before COVID-19 became. Um, I mean, came, came into the country and the globe, uh, the globe as well. So how best do we approach this? Because remember that aspect of ego. Um, I want to, yes, respect my husband or I want to respect my wife, but I need help, you know, here and there. So how do I go and, and ask this person without them feeling? Nikama kwa nisi waishimu, kwa nini na muambia nisaidie kupika, ma na muambia nisaidie kuchange mtoto nguo. How do we then, um, you know, go about, about the same? You see, number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. to kiondoka kwa dinayo. Okay. Now we say this is a reality. Yes. We can discuss it positively. All right. We can we can agree like diet. Mm. Kuna nyumba ambazo mm. diet, mm. Uh, balanced diet mm -hmm. in a fuatu kabisa. Yeah. Lakini wakati huu tuambiane, enyewe hapa tukisema yeah, mabo, we yeah. buwana, kuna wazea wapendi sukuma wiki. Hata mm -hmm. wengine they are very arrogant, wanasema ni, ni Arabic. Mm. Nani anakuambi unweke hii ya, ya Ii, buzi? Hapana, hiyo yeah. maringo yende. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes to the table, let mm -hmm. us appreciate. Mm -hmm. That is what wife was able to make mm -hmm. to fill our stomachs. Yeah. Diet, uh, balanced diet, you come so later. But if you are able, mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Don't again, uh, uh, mzea menunua kila kitu na unamuambia ni wakati wa corona. Mm -hmm. Na vitu vimeja kwa fridge. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Cook, mm -hmm. make him happy, mm -hmm. and... Uh, with the children. Yeah. Now, we husband, mm -hmm. women only need very little things. Yeah. By the way, if you tell your wife she is smart, 
Iyo tu, she will that smile the love. whole day. <laughs> if you tell her that food was delicious, yeah. she will smile the whole day. Mm. Those are the nitty gritties that yeah. the men need to do. Yeah. And me, mm. if I approach my husband and ask him, what mm. do you want to eat today? Mm. See, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Hata kisema chapati, there is time to make yeah. chapati. Yes. Ataona, ayi, this lady, hata kama tumeka kwa nyumba, yeah. she still recognizes mm. me. Lakini, kuna zingine tunapimana nguvu. Yeah. Yes. Si huko kwa nyumba, si pia uli sadia kupika leo. Ati unaniambia nianze machapati, hata wea gigia. Si hata Can't you see my nails? <laughs> Na huu uh, si wakati wa nails. Kuangalia <laughs> nails. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then um also during my research I, I found out that there are some people who are saying you know what some of the big and difficult conversations is the weekend kwanza kando kwanza don't focus on Izo. Mm -hmm. Just focus on the things that matter now. Yeah. And that is ensuring that your family is okay. This is mentally, physically, emotionally all the same. But for how long? Tutoweka kando for how long? All and that is why I say it. We, we try to kill the boredom. Okay. ni wakati wakufanya utoto wote tulisahau. Like even the kids are fighting in the house. They are bored. Mm -hmm. Get out. If there is a compound, chezeni, yeah. yeah. kampira kidogo, yeah. ruka na kamba. Yeah. Ayo mambo ambayo, the, the, those things that kill, mm. uh, kill time. Mm -hmm. And also you can watch a Christian movie together. Mm. I hear my grandson saying, Why people are very unfair to Jesus. Mm. They made they him carry the cross. <laughs> Unaona, yes. they are watching and they are learning something. At the same time, when yes. you tell them Jesus is a savior, mm. they can now see mm. the whole journey. Yeah. Lakini siku wakea hora. This time they are, they are anxious. They are already anxious. From na unawakea za kupigana. Wata, wata practice. Wata pick. So, so let true. us choose. Let us discuss. Mm. Our children, you do this. Mm. They will read. Don't let them forget books. Mm. Let them read. Even if you are not a teacher, you mm. can remember. Yeah. I, I had, I had uh, people remembering even those songs we used to do. You can even outside do Mabrigan, Mabrigan, yeah, number 20. Izo, Izo, unaonyesha watoto. I was telling my, 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 my kids, mm. I was telling them, to imbe hii, gunye irema. Unaona unacheka. Sasa husband akisuggest, you tacheka. You have made a day and you are happy. Let us not be serious and sit there and waiting for this coronavirus. It has become like a monster. No. We have all it takes to throw it out of the country by simply following the regulations of the... Even to the kids. Ninasikia watu wakubwa wanavaa hata masks. Mas, yes. Lakini watoto wakitoka hata waende nao hapo mm. kuoku. They are not giving them. Mas, These are human well. beings. Yeah. Give them. Yeah. Because yeah. even right now, I think earlier on, it's because some people are saying that this only affects the older people. But right now, I mean, we've seen cases of even a three-year-old actually dying from Imagine. the same. So really, it's it's about time we yes. all take precautions. You know, and and all, all let the those. parents be very strict. Mm. In my estate, I see children uh, running about mm. with the bicycles, yeah. and they have masks, mm. and I like Which that. Which is good, yeah. Because uh, in Aonyesha, mm. uyo mzazi, mm. anajua mm. what is happening, yeah. and you don't know where these other kids came from. True. Even if they are not playing closely, they are just mm. following each other mm. on bicycles. Mm. Of course, you are killing their boredom, mm. and you are also making them spend the calories, mm. because if you don't, mm. They use it wrongly. Wrongly, it's so true. They will cry by and you get <laughs> accidents. Yes. You see, we don't want that. Yeah, that I mean, right we now, don't want that. We're trying as, as much as possible and, and reduce zile visits to the you know, to mm -hmm. the hospitals, or anywhere yeah, yeah. else. So really take care, but at the same time, allow them to be children. Mm -hmm. But make sure that they are protected. Don't yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah do things the way the way you want. All right then. So before we even talk about then the aspect of some people who've lost their loved ones, in terms of staying safe, I know you're really emphasizing on just follow the directives um, you know that has been put aside by the government. There are some people who right now are torn between staying at home and go hungry, or niende uko nje toto chakula, but still risk. Um, Get it, getting COVID-19 and then come back home and infect my, my, my children, my family and all those things. And unfortunately, there's some families that are living in, let's say, a single um, roomed house and that is all that they can afford. So then what happens in terms of what are some of the tips that you can give um, but you see, them like and our, everybody else? Like our government, mm. from six mm. to six. Mm -hmm. 
you can do a lot in here mm -hmm. following the instructions at the same time okay. at the same time so magari ya matatu zwana bebana huyo mtu atapeleka chakula home lakini abebeba one per seat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sindio? Yes. So, uh, sio si wati tumeambiwa tuketi huko na mm -hmm. lockdown haijakuja fully. fully. But okay. people who are negative, mm -hmm. wanakawa kisema hii serikali. Mm. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, All right. Yesterday, I saw a lady yambaya mekua kiuza. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mahindi mahindi. temusha. Can we talk to There's a person on the line. Oh, His okay. name is Duke from Kisi. Good morning. Or oh, is it afternoon yet? Good morning. Thank you very much for calling us. Oh, yeah, a few minutes to afternoon. Um, how are you doing today, Duke? I'm doing Thank great. How Thank about you guys? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Niko na maski yangu. Uh-huh. Nimetoka kuosha bike zangu. Uh-huh. Niko poa. Uko poa kabisa. Mi niko poa. Mi siyo ni nikipate ugonja. Labda waza kufe. Labda wafanya nini? Labda? Labda wafanya nini? When you attach you can the lab door and the kufa, but as long as you obey the rules, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Duke. You're ni poor. We like we like the positive energy, the attitude. All right. Do you have a question as well? Dukumoja, sir. Uh huh. At you call? Dukumoja from university, sir. Okay. Sawa sawa. Asante sana, Duke. But continue to keep safe, please. Okay. <laughs> Continue, continue to stay safe. Um, you know, usiseme tu watu walo tuwa follow our follow rules ndi wananini. Wanataka ku, watapata, watapata yu gonjo. Let's all uh, make sure that we follow the rules. All right. Thank you very much, Duke, for calling us and just telling us how you're feeling today. All right. We have another call on the line. All right. Okay. Um, so, Duke, do you have a question? All right, okay, so Duke to Mpoteza, but thank you so much. I mean, we really, really appreciate Even, you know, positive energy. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. ni All right, and, and which is a good thing. At least we, we, we know that he's, he's well. All right, so if you're there watching us and you just want to tell us how you're feeling today, feel free to give us a call again on 0791478990. And of course, give us, I mean, whatever question, concern, feedback, whatever it is that you have. Have, or you just want to talk to our, our psychologist today again feel free 0791478990 is the number to call through and we'll be so glad to hear from you as well oh yeah so we were talking about uh you know i, I was telling you of mm -hmm. a lady I, I saw yesterday yeah she's been selling mahidi chemsha mm. right now she knows it can't work yeah Yesterday, I found her somewhere mm -hmm. with her, her mask, mask on, yeah. gloves. Mm -hmm. She has changed her business mm. because she has heard most people want to take uh, lemons mm. and, 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 and tangawizi. Mm. She's mm. selling that. Nice. And so she's making, in fact, I bought mm -hmm. and she's keeping a distance. Mm -hmm. Uyo mtu hata peleka magonjwa nyubani, hata peleka pesa. Mm -hmm. And I was really encouraged. Yeah. And uh, I was also encouraged by yesterday by I came to town. Mm -hmm. um, these uh, street families, mm -hmm. imagine they are putting they on the mask. mask. Yeah, I saw and even when boring, well. I was yeah. getting into naivas. Mm -hmm. And they are telling you politely, Mami, yes, Mukate. Mtoto yeah. wana Mami, Mustiana, mm -hmm. Maziwa ya Mtoto. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you have an extra coin. Yeah, then good. what amazed me, mm -hmm. when I bought the bread, mm -hmm. Imagine they divided. Oh, that's nice. Na na mwambia songa ni takupatia. Eh. Anampa three pieces, pieces of bread. Uyo, tatu. Pieces. Alipomaliza kabakisha kidogo. Mm. I was really moved. Mm. Akambia hawe ngine. Hizi mm. wacheni niweke mtoto wangu. Oh, that's nice. That's a family mm. man. Mm. Kama hao wameti na wana. Yeah. Tuna, you know, we just look at them and think they don't Because even have bite. families. Yeah. Yesterday I learned a well. lot about them. Yeah. And I remembered them in prayer. Mm. Mm. And I saw the unity. Mm. I had bought the big bread. Mm. Aligawia wote. Yeah. Na sisi wengine tumepewa. Hata ukumbuki you your cousin who so is true. not uh, yeah. able. Umtumia hata hizo bonga points mm. na pengine and ukona nyingi chakula. sana. Yeah. Please, let's let us, let us uh, help each other. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. wants us to return ile upendo mm -hmm. wa mwanzo.
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And then again, you know that that aspect of still helping each other. Um, you know, before before we talk to, we also have um, you know, a direction of, uh, of feed. Of course, I mean, over via is it Zoom or Skype? I um, mean, you know, she'll be joining us just a little bit. But allow, allow me to ask this one question. I um, mean, you know, in terms of helping each other, like we said, it's it's very very important. As much as it might not help um, in terms of monetary value, but also offering advice, you know, um, to some people as well, that, that would be really nice. But now, right now, sometimes people tell you, because me, I'm already struggling to deal with this pandemic. What, what do I say at this, at this particular moment? You know, mm -hmm. the negative energy is really mm -hmm. working in the homes. Mm -hmm. I wish you can just remove that and put positive. Because you can imagine, here is my husband, He's helping me to cut meat in the kitchen. And I'm doing the cabbages or the carrots. And uh, we remember one time we were mm. in college and something happens. Mm -hmm. We are going to laugh it out. And we, yeah. are, or, and we are going to be happy and mm -hmm. we shall remember those days. Hata atuta jua, utamuona tena amechukua kitungu. Sija muambia, it comes out naturally. Mm -hmm. But when we are what we call NBM, mm -hmm. do you know what NBM is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kneel by mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine a house with NBM. NBM. <laughs> it is a miserable place. Yes. And me, because I'm talkative, yeah. I've never allowed that. That in the house. I yeah. used to choko zamze. Yes. Ata kama amenyamaza. Yes. Nani disema hapa. Yeah. If you go to a, to a very annoyed man and you yeah. smile and say, niaje, yeah. yeah. ata cheka. Ata cheka. Yeah, yeah. Ata cheka. <laughs> and that is why I, I'm yeah. telling women, we be creative. be creative. You can even too. come with a song he loved. Yeah. Sing it. Yes. You can, you, if he used to tell you that you, ca you dance nicely, yeah. dance, dance in front of him. Yes. Like my husband loved Bolingo telephony. Yeah. You can imagine me you in know? front of them. Yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Be creative women. Yeah. I mean, come on, do something. And we are the flowers right. of the home. We are. Men we are, are not. Okay. All right. Now let's get to a little bit of, 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 of um, you know, the aspect of talking about cases. Remember, we mm -hmm. talked about domestic violence. I mean, we're actually on the rise right now. And we have Anne Ireri, who is director at FIDA Kenya, joining us via phone. Good afternoon. I think it's afternoon right now. Good afternoon, Anne. Good afternoon. To you. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, you know, in the discussion. Of course, today we're trying to understand how COVID nineteen has impacted people, relationships, families, and marriages as well. But as Fida Kenya, I mean, we hear cases of domestic violence have been on the increase. There's a certain group that I'm in, and some someone was saying actually they can hear a woman who was being beaten in their house and didn't know what to do. So, have you received any of those, um, you know, distress calls by either women, men, anybody just talking about? cases of domestic violence? Uh, thank you. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I think it's important for us as a country to realize we are really in exceptional circumstances. Yes. We've never faced uh, a pandemic of this nature, whether in Kenya or globally. Mm. And because of it, there are certain effects that have come with it. For mm. instance, families are spending more time at home. Together, yes. Together, there are, there are socioeconomic challenges because mm. of reduced earnings. Mm. And because of these various elements of stress are coming out. And mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see that often uh, even psychologists will attribute that usually mm. you, the people who are affected or stressed out are likely to make this uh, reaction to the persons closest to them. Yeah. And that means the family household is mm. going to face this brunt of the stress and the violence. So we have seen that as FIDA, we have received cases. Mm. We also see it in the NCJ, that's the National Council for the Administration of Justice. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. indeed, even the Honorable Chief Justice alluded to this fact yeah. that is increasing a significant spike. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, we had the Honorable CS for Health mentioning it. Yeah. And I think for us as FIDA, being mm -hmm. such a I mean, this is what we do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. We are now trying to move the conversation beyond the numbers to see what practical action we can do. So what we've done, we have come up with a toll-free number okay. that's up and running. Mm -hmm. That's 0800-720-501. Mm -hmm. And I'll repeat it again at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we have are standby counselors and legal uh, and lawyers who are on standby to assist Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And what we are urging the public to do is to report the cases, whatever kind of violence they experience. 
could be emotional, could yeah. be physical. Mm -hmm. And we're working very closely with the police, the mm -hmm. National Police Service and the ODPP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I need to also reiterate is as much as we are in a curfew and a lockdown to some extent, yeah. Uh, the messaging from the National Police Service and the courts through mm. the Chief Justice has mm. been very clear that SGBV, so any forms of sexual or gender-based violence cases, yeah. are amongst serious cases. So mm. these cases are still ongoing. Mm. The police are able to take pleas of people who are uh, arrested to them. Mm. So they should not. the public should not feel that because the courts or uh, the police stations are in a form of uh, reduced or scaled down activities, yeah. that these cases should not be reported okay but what we like and yes yeah all right i wanted to ask i mean that aspect of talking to a police officer there's some people who are saying you know what even if i report mm. and this is referring to a case mm. that i was saying earlier on of a person who had their neighbor being bitten but they could not mm. call the police because one they were scared that what if they call the police and then they come mm. and probably find that the woman is either on the side of the man trying to protect him in some sort or two mm. makes um you know the life of let's say the person who's being um you know, being the, or, or make the person of the the life of the victim a little bit difficult going forward because at the end of the day they have to continue mm -hmm. living with this with this person. What happens mm -hmm. um, in such an such an instance? Yes, mm -hmm. I, I think that's the, the the biggest challenge we face with domestic yeah. violence because mm -hmm. one, of course, these are households people who have been living together for quite some time. Yeah, we also now face bigger questions, as you're saying, in terms of the empowerment or the financial independence of the party who's affected. Are they in a position to, for instance, leave that home mm -hmm. and go to a safer place? And so, what we've been trying to urge uh, the public, even before COVID, is mm -hmm. domestic violence. If you study the trends of it, it is a cycle. Mm -hmm. So you'll realize that by the time someone is very physical with you, mm -hmm. it did happen overnight. It has mm -hmm. been going on in for a long time. Form. Yeah. So mm -hmm. as uh, yes, so as soon as they start seeing attributes of a partner, could be a, the, the man or the lady mm -hmm. who's being abusive in one way or the other. The best thing is to get help as early as you can, okay. because as you've said rightfully, what happens in Kenya and in most scenarios is even where we have fatalities, which is extremely unfortunate, mm -hmm. you'll always hear even neighbors say, "We used to hear noise. We used to hear." motion yeah. used to know they were fighting so why wait until the end so we are urging uh, persons who are affected by these abusive relationships mm -hmm. seek help when it's early don't wait until it's very late or it's too, too late, late for you to even report the case yeah oh, okay and then again mm -hmm. um for cases of let's say verbal um, abuse or emotional abuse because see when you mm -hmm. talk to a police officer they will tell you what's the evidence where's the evidence that this person has been um, you know abusing you either verbally or emotionally so some people will be like um, there's no point of me either reporting um, the, for to the necessary authorities or to even speak to a police um, or to the police officer because they will ask for evidence and let's say I do not have any Mm. Mm -hmm. I think for me, whereas I'm, I'm not really the spokesperson for the police, but mm. I can allude to the fact that we have worked with them yeah. uh, quite a bit. I mm -hmm. think there's been the long term challenge of the stereotypes and attitudes that the public has towards the police mm -hmm. and uh, which has been addressed to uh, to some extent. One, mm -hmm. we've been able to engage in a lot of training with mm -hmm. police officers mm -hmm. and quite frankly, a number of them are sensitized. They yeah. know what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we are calling upon uh, the public is mm -hmm. to also cooperate with the police because how the criminal justice system mm. works in Kenya is mm -hmm. it's the police who act on behalf of an aggrieved party mm. in criminal matters. Mm -hmm. So we need to have the public report the cases and their mechanisms to to, for the public to report where they have availed reports to the police and they've not been taken seriously. Mm -hmm. There are various channels which the Inspector General has always alluded to. Mm -hmm. So let that not be a deterrence for yeah. the public to report Disicale. because unless they report, mm -hmm. exactly, these cases might not go far. So mm -hmm. let them take a chance, let mm -hmm. them report, let them have records of cases where they've reported and the police have not been able to take up action. Mm -hmm. And that's where institutions such as FIDA come mm -hmm. in because then we are able through evidence to seek, to, to go to the the highest of the police officers, which is the IG's office, mm. to indicate on this date in this place, this report was availed to the police station mm -hmm. and nothing was done. So let's not shy away from reporting. Mm. And even within the curfew hours, I mm. think we have availed a number of toll-free numbers. Yeah. And even the police numbers of 999 still work. 
Mm. Let them report these cases. But mm. again, the clarion call is for families, for persons who are in abusive relationships. Mm. Let us not wait until it's too late. Yeah. Uh, the challenge that we have in Kenya, because it's important to mention, is mm. we need more investment, for instance, in shelters, and yeah. we're trying to work closely with the government, mm. because ideally would have what we call safe homes or halfway homes mm. for abused parties to stay. Mm. However, even in countries or jurisdictions where these uh, facilities are available, mm -hmm. they are never enough for everyone. For everybody so too. that's where we are. Yeah. So that's why we are calling for citizens to be empowered. Whether you're a woman or a man, mm -hmm. violence is not acceptable. So if you're in a situation where you're facing violence, and especially mm -hmm. to our younger Kenyans, mm -hmm. because you're seeing increasingly a lot of violence is, uh, is affecting the youth in mm -hmm. Kenya. Let them not stay in those relationships. Okay. There are better options. Mm -hmm. You don't need to stay in until it's too late. Okay. And and of course, we yeah. do not want to encourage people as soon as probably you notice one, two things probably leave because there's some people who will tell you, what about my children? Um, you know, what happens exactly. to them? So again, it's, it's mm -hmm. depending on, let's say, the level of... Um, you know, abuse that's happening in the relationship. But then again, um, of course, in Europe, mm -hmm. they're talking about 8%. That is in the increase of um, cases of violence. But in Kenya, I think mm -hmm. the CJ talked about an aspect of either 32 or 38%, and that is, you know, amounting for the levels of abuse in the country. There are some people mm -hmm. who are living with the perpetrator. And like mm -hmm. you said earlier on, this probably for, for some people, this has been happening for a long time. It's just that they've not been reporting. But for staff mm -hmm. who, let's say, have started now um, during, I mean, for the fact that we are in quarantine, you know, all of us, let's say we are at home. Um, what happens? Because I'm living with this person. If I report and probably they find out that I have reported, um, you know, it might, it might end up being worse. So for a person who's living with the perpetrator at home who are actually extending the same event to the children, um, what are some of the ways that they can or the proper channels that they can follow to ensure that they protect themselves and the children from, you know, the cases of abuse or violence getting, getting worse? Um, that's a very good question. I think one of the advantages we have in Kenya and in Africa is our social setup. Okay. Our social setup is quite strong. So you realize for a number of us, we either have very close relatives or friends yeah. who can come in handy in such situations. Why do I bring this out? Because in a lot of cases, we'll have to be practical. Mm. If you're living with someone who's extremely abusive, by the time we respond to the case, time mm. is of essence. Yeah. So if you have people who you trust, the family members, could be your, your nuclear family or extended, mm. the idea is just get to a safe place mm. as soon as you can. Mm. Because what we are trying to preempt here is, yes, we have good laws, we have sufficient laws, and institutions such as FIDA and others mm -hmm. who we work with will be able to respond to the cases. But what we are focused on is the well-being and the safety of the person mm -hmm. who's concerned. So mm -hmm. as soon as you realize you are in a in a very in an abusive situation, mm -hmm. please get out as soon as you can. And there's always someone you can go to, even if it's a good friend. Just mm -hmm. try and get seek some refuge temporarily mm -hmm. as you pursue the case. Because of course, as you rightfully pointed out, it's very hard for someone who's abusing you to continue smiling mm -hmm. with you, yet they know you've sought uh, further action or stand action against them. Mm -hmm. They'll actually become more violent. That mm -hmm. is one. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, and you mentioned it, we always reiterate this, even as Peter. Okay. Let the children not be an excuse for you to endanger to your life. Remain, yeah. In okay. Kenya, we have the Children's Act, and mm -hmm. the Children's Act, and even the Constitution, mm -hmm. clearly outlines that parental responsibility is shared 50-50 between the parents. Okay. So what does this mean? That you can live apart, but still be able to take care of the to, children. For the so let children. that be a reason for, uh -huh. yeah, for people to... to Okay. All right. And I don't want to lose you, so please stay on the line because we have another caller. Okay. We have a caller actually on the line, and this is Job, a uh, George rather, George Wafula from Kahawa West. Good morning or good afternoon, sir. All right. Is that is that George? We've lost. Okay. We seem to have lost um, George over there. But of course, and back to you a little bit. We also have our psychologist on set with us. Um, and of course, right now, because we talked about an aspect of working together um, from all um, you know, the agencies to ensure that we try and help as much as possible, especially people who are experiencing some bit of um, you know, violence um, here and there in the country and even around the globe as well. So then for psychologists, I mean, how best can they approach um, this and how best can you, you know, work together with a psychologist so that in the event that someone is going through either emotional abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, you can work together to ensure that that you, um, you know, help the victim and also protect them as well. 
Anne, are you, can you hear me? Okay, mm -hmm. yes, ah, yes, I can. Okay. So I think for us, and I really do love your station for bringing us together because you're looking at uh, both the legal aspect and the psychological aspect. Yeah. And for us, why this is important, because for us to deal with this issue, it is a multi-sectoral approach that we are, will have to develop. There's mm -hmm. no one agency or institution can that, that can uh, solely handle Work. this issue. Mm -hmm. And so for us, what we are calling upon is for all of us as for all of us in the sector, mm -hmm. from the medical perspective, mm -hmm. to the psychosocial perspective, to the lawyers, to the law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. let's work closer and have more synergy. Mm -hmm. Because in these cases, there's a lot of referral that happens. So mm -hmm. by the time, for instance, a victim would come to FIDA, mm -hmm. we'd have to seek psychosocial help for them, medical treatment, most likely. Mm -hmm. And then we hand them over to the police. The police hand them over to the ODPPs who eventually prosecute these matters in mm -hmm. court. Mm. So there's a lot of need for closer synergy, and we have seen that uh, it is a good start, for instance, in the NCAJ, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. where we are agencies that have been brought together under the justice sector, mm -hmm. and we are all trying to play our part. So mm -hmm. as a police message that people should report the cases, mm -hmm. as the Honorable Chief Justice mentions to the public that the yeah. courts are open for business, that mm -hmm. not, not everything is at a standstill. Mm -hmm. We have other sectors such as law society. For us as FIDA, we are also coming to help by one mm. offering free legal aid services because mm. we also know that people are strained yeah. and to where we can we are availing counselors on standby we have in-house counselors mm. just to respond to these cases because mm. again it's important to reiterate that we're in exceptional circumstances and yeah. we all have to pull our weight to support what the government is doing mm -hmm. and to also protect households and families and the most vulnerable amongst our societies who okay. are children okay. who live with us mm -hmm. yeah all right and that so in, in terms so before I let you go, um, as FIDA, what have you, yeah. um, let's say, increased your surveillance, don't you? Because right now, um, there's some people who might be going through the same and afraid to talk about it, afraid to address it. And there's some who probably just come out and say, you know what, I am experiencing abuse of all forms, let's say, um, shape on and, and all that. So then again, have you increased surveillance? What's your position right now, especially when everybody is at home, people are dealing with all levels of stress and anxiety and all those things. And of course, cases of violence are inevitable. So have you increased mm -hmm. surveillance cases, um, you know, on your end or, you know, what's happening? What's your position right now, Sfida? Okay, so as FIDA, mm -hmm. we, what we do in Kenya is we run le free legal aid services through what we call legal aid clinics, and we are in three towns in Kenya, so Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kisumu. Mm -hmm. However, we work with the certain teams within the society. One are community-based organizations. Mm -hmm. We have 60 across the country who we right. work with, so who okay. are really in the counties. So mm -hmm. they are helping us mm -hmm. to spot as you're saying to survey these cases as they happen mm. and they're referring them to us and for us as FIDA as soon as we, re we receive these cases mm. we are alerting the national police service we are mm. alerting the ODPP mm. for them to take note that these are the cases that are coming out not only from our urban centers mm -hmm. but even the far flung areas because we must never forget those areas where services are few and scattered mm -hmm. and so we want to make sure that the same level of response a victim in Nairobi for instance would receive is water victim in Mandera or the Dab or Kilifi would get. Okay. So it's important that we reiterate that. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are appealing to the public. Please reach out to us. Mm -hmm. I'll repeat the toll-free number again, 0800-72501. Okay. Okay. And we can report cases to oh, us. Okay. Yeah. Stay on the line, Anne, because um, we'll be engaging you, of course, um, you know, here and there. But for now, we have Wafula Masava from Ruiru. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much um, for calling us. Konaswali, comment? Konaswali, Guzmu, Anne, Wafita. Okay. And that Kumuliza, Bona, Kesoda, Mazo Muta, and Apeleka Pale, Kosita. Most of the cases you are now working with who are not seen or not seen. And the day was up, another part of Jana, I went to Gazi, my dear. I'm a 
Nataka kuuliza na watu wa Fida kwani huwa na wanasema tu wanawake wanawake wanaisaidia wakiwa mwanamke na kwa wapi na kwa Okay. Sawa sawa sawa. Asante sana for, for for your question. And of course and this is directed to you but of course we we'll also have um, you know of course when you you'll, you'll chime in um, you know um, on the same and that is and if you can hear me um wafula na uliza mm -hmm. why is it that most women um, or all women who come to FIDA are only wanashinda wanaume never ever win win their cases so could you could you please answer wafula? Yes, I'll answer wafula and uh, asante sana wafula kwa hiyo swali. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things that's important to reiterate kwa watu wengi ambao wanakuja FIDA mm. ukikuja pale FIDA kitu la, jambo la kwanza huwa hatukimbii kotini mm. kuna ile mambo tunaita mediation mm -hmm. mediation ni pale ambapo ikiwa ni mama amefika kustaki mzee mm. tunasema hapana kila kesi iko na upande mbili mm. wacha pia tumwite mzee akuje pale atueleze kesi mm -hmm. and in fact as fida mm -hmm. tumekuwa na success rate ya kusuluhisha kesi hapo kwetu ya 78% oh wow uh -huh. kwa zile kesi zinafika so zile ambazo zinaenda kotini ni zile chache sana zile mm -hmm. ambazo ni kama za mashamba ambazo ni technical mm -hmm. kwa hivyo wanaume wa Kenya wasikue na wasiwasi na hata mm -hmm. wakiongelesha wale wazee wameletwa fida wengi wamesema hata wamefurahi sana vile wamekuja fida sababu wamesikizwa na sisi pale fida interest haikuwa ati ni ya mzee ama ni ya mama mm. ama ni ya watoto okay, okay. ile tunaita best interest ya watoto mm. watoto hawakuulizwa kuzaliwa kwa hivyo haijalishi kama wana, wazazi wako pamoja ama mm. wako kando mm. masilahi ya watoto lazima iangalie okay. kwa hivyo ile mediation tunafanya fida na tuko mpaka na mapasta na masheik ambao ndo wanatusaidia kwa mediation sio fida staff peke yake mm. we have volunteer mediators who are across the sectors mm. and who have really contributed to what in okay. fact we have been alluded to be a, a leader in the family mediation okay. so let not men worry and we also look at okay all right thank you very yeah. much and for that and of course um when you know this is i think i think an assumption I don't know whether to call it an assumption or it's what's happening because Wafu I think represents so many men who um when I say mimi me hata nikienda let's say to seek help most of the time they don't focus on men and this is not only for fida but everywhere um even in counseling most women come for counseling as compared to to the men so is it more of an assumption that many men have that first of all why should I involve a third party and two hata uh, nikienda mimi sitasaidia it's only the the women who will get the who will get the help um, you know, and before you answer that, we also have another call on the line. Good afternoon. Hello, can you can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Okay, go ahead. Please tell us your name. I'm Duke. Uh huh. From university, and I was in Nana School. Oh, okay. All right. Karibu tena, Duke. Okay. Duke. Uh huh. I can hear you. Mutafanya. I'm Duke. Yes, go ahead. Do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please. All right. Um please just turn down the volume of your of your TV kidogo so that we can be able to um to um communicate. But uh can we just answer that that question of either is it an assumption or what happens? in every area there is what we call stereotypes. Yes. And people preach stereotypes. Yes. Ah, ukienda fida hata utasikika. Mm -hmm. Ni wanawake wanasikika. And yeah. I know men who have been helped mm -hmm. and I know women who have been helped As by well. fida. Yeah. So wacha tuondoe hivyo. Ni kama the way we used to go to police. Mm. Women mm -hmm. used to report rape cases domestic to yeah. men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anauliza ulipigwa wewe ni mtoto na sasa hii amekasirika yes. she's in pain mm -hmm. and then we want to thank the national police they changed yes wakawa gender sensitive mm. wakaweka desk mm -hmm. ya wamama mm -hmm. na hii nyingine ya wanaume mm -hmm. and we have seen them a lot being helped a yeah. lot of help mm -hmm. but those who end that time they are mm -hmm. still discouraging others ah usishinde ukienda police they won't help you yes. and we know our police have really helped mm -hmm. and i always say mm -hmm. we, you, you may never know the importance of something until mm -hmm. you lose it you, yes let us not lose grip with the police. They are mm. the best. Mm. They help. Mm. They follow. Mm. 
and especially when you go to the women desk, mm -hmm. even those police women are women, mm -hmm. they talk to you nicely, mm -hmm. they bring you back to your senses, mm -hmm. and then they wow. make you record. Yeah. Unaona, ata wao ni ma psychologists. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, wana, wana, wana kuongeresha dio uturie, mm -hmm. na wa? Yeah, so, so like even hiyo ya FIDA, mm. wacha watu waache kudanganyana ya kwamba FIDA usaidia tu. <laughs> tumeona wazee wamesaidiwa. Uh -huh. There are men who are literally beaten. Mm. By their wives, true. And they go to FIDA and they are helped. Mm. So, that's a stereotype. Okay. That is, ni kuhubiriana ijiri ambayo siya ukweli. Siya yeah. Okay. All right. And then, um, of course, that aspect then, can we talk about at a counseling? Most of them, they'll, they'll be like, Kwanini, why should I involve a third party? And especially right now where all of us are home, we are dealing with cases of COVID-19. We are stressed. We're experiencing anxiety here and there. So for most women, it's easier for them to seek help. At a call, friend, at a call, a counselor, and be like, this is what I'm going through. But for the men, uh, most of them feel that this is a sign of weakness. You know, if I call a counselor and you be hey, apa kwangu, si kuzuri sana, most of them will, will you know, think that, I apa watonikana ni kama usi wanaume enough. So can we just talk about Actually, that aspect? Actually, yeah. women know how to take care of themselves. Mm. They know. Mm. Once they hear, and they read a lot. Mm. Once they hear about counseling, they want mm. to know about it. Mm. Men, they just believe counseling is for sick people, yeah. psychologically. Mm. Uh, disabled mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so I am okay. Yeah. If I go for two bottles, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But yeah. let me tell you, you will go for those two bottles, mm -hmm. but tomorrow the problem, the problem will still, still be there. there. Yes. So you better go and seek help. Mm -hmm. And this help, even counselors don't advise. Mm -hmm. At your advice talker, mm -hmm. they work with you until you make your own decision. decision. Yeah. So it is very important to go to a session for a session, and you are helped. Mm -hmm. Let the men wake up. Let them go and see FIDA, yeah. let them go and see counselors, there are yeah. so many. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes even ca women come and tell me, imagine the jaribu kuambia wagu tuje, mm. and yambia wedi mgonjwa, enda misi mgonjwa. How I end okay. counseling because they are sick. All right. They are looking for ways yeah, to deal with story. what is disturbing okay. them. All right. Wafula is still on the line. I mean, Amirudi. Um, welcome back, Wafula. Do you have a question? Ashkuru kwa sabi vila manichibu wapo tukua wa kaku kamise vila naongea. Ehe. Anasema hatu kenda bodhis. Ehe. Kuna testi ambaye mewepa pale wadaiza kusuluhisha mamba ambaye ya wanawaki. Ehe. Kwa testi, hawa watu nyehuwa na wepa pale sivi watu ya mbao mesumea mamba ya psychologist ya watu. Mm. They are there. Mm-hmm. Na wako kazi. Mm. Wale ya muka endo kaya pale shukulika na yu mamba. Kwa kama hawa pita pia wanafanya hivyo, ya mm. rogu, ya mm. rogu, wana, wana kosa. Mm -hmm. Kwa pita na chakana wawo ya bao ni watu wamesoma, wako pale, wanafanya kazi, kibana, mm. bile mtu wamesita, kumelezea. Mm -hmm. Mana muka akineza shida yake, mimi kipe pia nilezi shida yangu, pengine kwa sabu huyu, nilikuwa na eni kamusomeza na hata kusesa na msoto yangu, mm. kwa sabu wanafanya pehela mingi. Mm. Na mimi nahitaji mtoto wangu nikae tena na yeye anataka kulalia upande wa mama. Mm. Ni makosa lakini akisema ati oh please you wanna take I know police wanafanya kazi. But it's that thing about sababu na fanya kazi hiyo kitu kwanza inaumiza the civil servant. Mm. Kwanza most of the the hiyo women fund hiyo sana ndemea sana upande wa civil servant. Mm. Yes, kama mtu aita uwe mtu mm -hmm. ama waache kazi. Mm. Ndio vita na bwana wa Kulikina mungu mwenye mkulima huko chini, hata ano ume tingi ya maa nisaliwa kwa slamu, kwa kwa tewa, kwa tewa uwe kwa tewa uwe kwa slamu, ya maa enda maa slamu. Kwa 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 Na haza fizi na umia, na haza ya inaona kezi, most of the cases, na tukua kwa polisi. Kwa uh -huh. uya mduwa mta na plani, kwa zaba alikuwa mempelekte shure, alikuwa mmeza fungo, hamepata mm -hmm. jopa, nisema hui si, si rika yangu, ama si lebo yangu, nisema minatakutua mtu ambaye, ni high class, 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 Minataka niele, ani asofanio mzuri, pia atayere polisi huo nini, polisi ya mbea, na amuati mbea, alitoangani. Mm. Sao. 
Okay, sawa sawa. Um, Anne, you're, you're still on the line? Yes, I am. Okay, you've heard um, you know, Wafula's um, concern. He's still not satisfied, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So could you, could you please speak to, to Wafula and, and make it clear? Because him, he wants, um, you know, he wants a detailed explanation how either things are done, so yeah, could you please um, speak to Wafula? Okay, uh, Sante sana Wafula. Mm -hmm. Na kile neza nika sema hapa ni mawili. La kwanza ukiweza uneza wasilisha kesi na sisi na tutakuelezea na tuwekuonyesha kwamba tuwegemei upande wote. Mm -hmm. Na la pili vile ambavyo nimesema na ambavyo kansla wanjira amesema mm -hmm. akaongezea. Mm -hmm. Ukifika pale fida hatuchukulia ati yule ambaye amekuja kama ni mama kila anasema ni kweli mtu. Mm. Na ndiyo lazima huwa tunakuita pia wewe kama mwanamume mm. ukuje utueleze kesi yako. Mm. Na nikarudia wakati unakuja pale fida kwa mediation. Ya kwanza mediation ni ile ambayo inaitwa ni mazungumzo. Mazungumzo ambayo tunafanya sababu mwishowe tuna appreciate ya kwamba nyote ni wazazi. Hatutaki mm. mfike wakati hamuwezi hata mkasanimiana mm. na mkona watoto kwa mmoja. Mm. Na hizi ndio zile kesi ambazo hata honorable chief justice amesema kesi zingine sio lazima ziende kotini. Hatua hizi yeah. kesi za familia. Mm. Wacha zisuluhishwe na waku, watu viongozi kwa jamii, mm -hmm. viongozi wa kidini, mm -hmm. mediators ambao wamekuwa trained psychologists mm -hmm. kwa sababu mwisho utapata sidhani amesema mnafika mahali mnasema watoto sio wetu mnakubali yeah. watoto mm. lakini ni kutoelewana mambo mawili matatu mm. so we are encouraging Kenyans to embrace mediation mm -hmm. one it is faster it mm -hmm. is cheaper mm -hmm. and it actually retains and preserves relationships in the society because yeah. we appreciate that for parents mm -hmm. it's a misunderstanding it doesn't mean that there's animosity between two people who at one point were living together mm -hmm. as husband and wife mm -hmm. or who have children together so let Wafula feel free to avail the case to us we mm -hmm. will be able to assist him mm -hmm. and also to keep the message on that let's not uh, rush to court over everything as Kenyans especially on personal law issues mm -hmm. or matters affecting the family, the family. We yeah. have what now is being called court next mediation. And mm. even when they go to court, mm -hmm. they'll actually be referred by the courts to mediation. Mm. Because we are seeing it is faster, it is cheaper, mm -hmm. and you actually can have a mediation in a day and your case is resolved. And mm -hmm. you save on a lot of time. Because the courts really want to deal with the technical issues that Kenyans face, such as uh, mm. land cases, mm. those are very technical, mm -hmm. and criminal cases, of course, because those are now crimes that must be processed within okay. the court system. All right. But for these other misunderstandings we are having, mm -hmm. let's embrace alternative dispute resolution, okay. such as mediation. All right. Okay, yeah. thank you very um, much, Anne. Please stay with us. Uh, we need to take a very short break, but um, just to repeat the number that you said earlier on, and, um, and uh, I hope I got it right, it's 0800-720-501. That's the number one can call. Yes, it's All right, it's, it's the correct number. All right, so we, let's take a very short break, but of course when we come back, we still have a lot to discuss as far as just domestic violence, um, how relationships are doing at this period of COVID-19, but in the event that one has lost their loved one as well, what do you do? Do you postpone grief? What are some of the right steps or not even not the right steps, but steps, I mean, you know, towards a grief. We'll be answering your questions as well. Um, and that is on 0791 So stay with us. We'll be right back after this very short break. Welcome back. Glad you're still with us again. This is a new day, and of course today we just want to understand, um, you know, the impact of COVID-19 on relationships, marriages, and for those people who've lost their loved ones, how are you doing? How are you coping? Um, you know, and of course during this moment of. Um, COVID-19 in the country. Of course, we have uh, Wanjiru Kiyama, who is a psychologist and a marriage counselor as well, just giving us all the info we need to have on how best 
we can cope given the situation that we are in. And of course, also on the line, we have Anne Ireri, who is a director at FIDA Kenya. So if you have any question, um, you know, directed to any of these two lovely ladies, then again, feel free to give us a call on 0791-478-990. Or better yet, um, send us a text message on 40920. I'm trying to see if I can get some of your messages um, as far as, you know, the impact of COVID-19 on relationships and marriages is concerned. So as soon as I get them, of course, we'll be able to answer them. But for now, Wanjiru, I mean, you know, briefly, because we focus mostly on domestic violence, people who are, uh, you know, going through, you know, whatever form of abuse. But then again, those families that have lost their loved ones, let's say if there are, you know, if it's a dad, it's a mom, um, you know, or even those who've lost their children as well, um, you know, to COVID-19. So can we talk about then, you know, grief? And because right now it's different. I mean, if you lose your loved one, then you have to bury them within 24 hours. And of course, even the rituals of, of, of burial is, is different. Um, you know, the Ministry of Health gave, you know, a directive on how this process is supposed to be conducted. So really, there's no time for closure. There's no time to say goodbye. It's very, very quick. So does this make then the period of grief even more difficult? Because you do not have closure. You do not even have to say goodbye, you know, to, to your family member. Most of the times mm -hmm. I've seen counselors mm -hmm. going to give uh, debriefing yeah. the families mm -hmm. uh, voluntarily. Mm -hmm. But today, mm -hmm. so many things are happening it's at the so same quick time. And so past, yes. You can't go mm -hmm. out there to, mm -hmm. to, to meet the family. Maybe yeah. they are and already 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are 15. Mm -hmm. This time around, mm -hmm. I, I would only want uh, the, the, the psychologists, mm -hmm. this time we are going an extra mile yeah. and we are using our phones. Okay. Yeah, you, you can debrief your, yeah. briefly mm -hmm. for them to feel there's somebody and mm -hmm. uh, who is thinking about them and uh, mm -hmm. telling them it is well. Yeah. yeah the mm -hmm. church people can also call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like me in my church, I'm in a fellowship that has a very mm -hmm. able Chair uh, we mm -hmm. call her elder. Okay. And I can see. we answer? Can you just give us that um, a little bit? We have to ha have um, we have Anne from mm -hmm. Naivasha on on phone. Mm -hmm. So good good afternoon, Anne. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for calling us, Anne. Do you have a question, or um, do you need help in in any Hello? way? Yes, we can hear you, Anne. Kindly speak up oh, a little yeah. bit. Anne, out of credit. Let me call you again. Oh, okay, Sawa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. Yes, you're giving I us. I was an going example. to say some yes. church leaders mm -hmm. are also very active. I was going to give an example yes. of my elder. Yeah. She gets into the members very mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. and that way, mm -hmm. at this time, one has lost. She's able to encourage. Mm. Thank God nobody in, in our fellowship mm. has, has lost, lost somebody. Yeah. But I've seen them working. Mm. The bishops, mm. the pastors, mm. they are following their members. And if there is somebody who is grieved, yeah. they are debriefing them over the phones mm -hmm. and they are talking to them. And that is very good. Mm. Let us not leave them and say, uh, hey, Walisema well, 15. I love yes. the way counselors give themselves out, out. to the society. Yeah. Especially right now. Really right needs, now, this time of debriefing. Mm. They really need us and we are, mm. we are there. Yeah. And, uh, God, you give us that credit Grace, and you'll you know. be able to talk <laughs> to, to help them. People. And, okay, then. Uh, yeah. But then again, so for people who are already, um, you know, grieving, they're trying to deal with the loss mm -hmm. um, of a loved one. And remember, like I said earlier, on, it's very quick. You know, someone dies, let's say, from COVID-19, or even if they, they pass on from any other thing, it's very quick, um, you know, and all that. So before we answer that, we have another caller on the line. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for calling us. Do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. These are very difficult moments for us, uh, me as a man. Okay. And uh, I've just heard from um, a lady who is in charge of feeder within that particular department, mm -hmm. within, within your premises, or uh, mm -hmm. you're in contact with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been a very difficult moment because uh, I can't be able to reach out for my child. Okay. I've been seeing this through the children's department, wherever the child is. Mm -hmm. I've also tried even um, doing a, a, co a, a court case. Mm -hmm. But again, unfortunately, during the time when I thought I would be able to get um, a hearing is when the, 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 the lockdown was brought up. Mm. So I could 
moved to be able to be with her and um, unfortunately I'm the one who is able I'm a willing parent but uh, the mother opted to walk away and swept everything off the house mm. but still that notwithstanding mm. uh, my daughter had a life that uh, she used to live in Nairobi mm. Mm. and um, so so far what I know is that she's not able to get that life and the mother is not able to support her mm. all in that she, she's not having any stable job mm. and though in such a, a difficult moment it would be my wish I've never talked to my daughter for at least a year now as we talk okay because I've been bad, I've been bad even then, even after trying to access her through the children's department, I tried to put a case in court. Mm. So it is a double pain for us. So how does Sida come in such a situation? Mm. Because it weighs down on me financially. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, I understand sometimes a relationship may not work. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, um, when a child becomes a soft target in such a situation, mm -hmm. I feel like my child is going to be hurt. Her future education and even her good morals and even the mental, the, the mental state because yeah. she's confused right now. How mm -hmm. how best can, can uh, how 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 well is daddy? Because I've been in her ally for the last six years. Mm -hmm. I have been supporting her doing what a father should do. Okay. All right. So, so can, you, can you remind me your name? I'm Ivan. Um, all right. So please stay on the line because I also have Anne, um, you know, so that he, I mean, Anne will be able to, to, to help you. So Anne, if you can hear me, um, first, uh, were you able to get, um, you know, his concern, he can't reach, I mean, his child has gone through, you know, the children department, um, filed a court case as well, that, but hearing has not been possible. Um, and he says the mother is not able to support, um, you know, the child, so he is willing or wants to actually support the child. He has not um, seen his daughter for a year now, so he's asking, I mean, how best can feed her? come in and, and, mm. and help him. Yeah, he's on the line, so you can you can engage him, that is, if you have further clarification for, for him, from him, yeah. Okay, thank you. I think I did get his question quite right, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I've understood the situation. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what I can indicate to you is, uh, mm -hmm. please reach out to us as FIDA. We are open. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call us on, I hope you have a, a pen or paper nearby, mm -hmm. 0722 mm -hmm. 50 9760. Okay. Yes, so let him feel free to reach out to us. You're on standby, we're still working, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to assist him. I think what is important for all of us to remember, as we, I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. what the law looks at is the best interest of the child. The okay. state is very keen to protect the child and to ensure whatever circumstances a child is in, mm -hmm. whether with a father or with a mother, the best interest of the child prevails. So that's a case we can look into. Mm -hmm. Let the gentleman reach out to us. Mm -hmm. And an alternative number to the one that I'm going to give is a toll free number 0800 mm -hmm. 720 Let him call us. We are standby. Our legal teams are available to assist him mm -hmm. to take up the matter. Okay. All right, yeah. thank you very much, um, you know, and for that, and Ivan, if you're watching us, of course, that the number, I mean, that Anne has said, you can reach them through is 0722509760. And then, of course, there's also 0800720501. And, of course, you'll be able to get help from, from that. So, Anne, time is not on our side. So, could we get, um, you know, your parting shot as far as just dealing with COVID-19 right now and with cases of domestic violence? Uh, thank you so much. Once again, Fida is really glad to have been part of this discussion and we really applaud you as the media houses mm -hmm. because you really amplified this issue. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate that as a country, as a globe, we're in difficult times, mm -hmm. but this is not an excuse for us to hurt the people we live with, the people we love the most. Mm -hmm. As has been mentioned by Councillor Onjiro, please talk to someone. Don't wait until it's too late. Mm -hmm. There are numerous people who are available, including ourselves as FIDA. Mm -hmm. Reach out to whoever you're free to speak to, but don't suffer in silence. Mm -hmm. And let us make sure we protect ourselves so that we are better able to protect our children and those who we support. Mm -hmm. And overall, let's focus on optimism. Yes, it's a pandemic, but as the clarion call has stated, we shall overcome, but mm -hmm. we want to get out of the pandemic as we were before. So we don't mm -hmm. want to lose people out due to domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So please let's speak out and mm -hmm. let's not be quiet.
worldwide. All right. Thank you very much. And we really appreciate it. And of course, thank you so much for your time as well. We'll be reaching out to you, I mean, or in our further discussions as well as far as just how best can people, especially those who are in, uh, in a relationship or in a situation where they're experiencing any form of abuse, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be reaching out, um, you know, to you um, as well. But then again, just to reiterate, 0722-509-760 or 0800-720-501 is the number to call through in the event that you are experiencing whatever form of abuse and of course Fida Kenya will be able to help you so and thank you and please keep safe um, with thank your you. with your family and and with your loved ones as well um, and of course just to wrap up our discussion today when you've been so helpful and we really really appreciate your time <laughs> as well but just to wrap up in terms of then can you talk about very briefly the different stages of grief um, that, and, and the signs that one is grieving? Because sometimes people don't know. And even right now when men and women all are, um, they are at home, one might be thinking, you, you're not dealing with this situation, especially in the event of loss. You're not, why are you not showing grief? Why are you not crying? Why are you not, you know? So, so many questions surrounding the same. So in this process of how do I know that this other person is grieving and how best can, can I help them? First of all, like mm. I said, even in this pandemic, mm. people go into denial sure. when somebody dies mm. and then uh, it, it creeps back to you that this is a reality mm. where now you can, you can accept but have heart injury yes. with support. Mm -hmm a counselor or a psychologist can work with you mm. in those steps whereby you, you are in denial, mm. they, 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 they talk to you and help you to go to reality. Mm -hmm. And when it has dawned on you that uh, it is true that somebody has died, mm. you, you kind of accept. Mm -hmm. And that is where you find others crying. Yeah. There are even others who still look stiff and uh, won't uh, mourn. Mm. And we tell them mm -hmm. it is important to mourn that person. Okay. And that is mm -hmm. why when the, the reality has come, mm -hmm. you find them crying. I yes. tell people, don't stop them. Yeah, they are, don't tell them. Uh, yeah. to are you yes. too, we are lose that person. Yeah. And if you check, those who do not weep around the morning time, mm -hmm. later they get they sick. Yeah. When, when somebody is long gone and buried, mm -hmm. is when they are realizing, oh, I don't this see so, so and so. Kumbe yeah. alienda. Mm -hmm. And you find even others are admitted in hospital. Yeah. So it is good to work with them mm. and let them know the reality. Mm. Uh, there is a time my friend lost her son and mm. she took the other kids to the mm. mortuary to see. Okay. Yeah, and it is very important. Okay. People thought she was crazy. Yeah. But these kids Helps accepted and accept. saw him lying okay. there and they believed their brother mm. was gone. Mm. So when we work with these people who have lost, mm. they recover very fast. Very fast. Okay. So it is good to give them a shoulder to cry on. Yeah. And it is good to show them it is a reality. What what story is a reality? Kwa mungu. Mzoto atafikiri atarudi. It is yeah. true. Okay. But tell them he died. Mm. And we shall bury him somewhere. Yeah. Okay. You, have, you hear kids even kwa mazishi wa kiuliza. Kwa nini wanaweka dadi uko? Kwa nini wamemuraza? Talk to them. Talk let to a them. counselor talk. They are even uh, children counselors. Yeah. Take them there. Take them. Okay. And by the time this is going to an end, they are, mm. they are starting they okay. to, to recover right. and accept. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm. All right. So, I, I mean, Wanjiro, we have to say goodbye. I know when we're having this discussion, time really flies by. But I think this is a discussion that we can have over and over and over mm. again. Mm. Um, you know, as far as then dealing with, with COVID-19 yeah. um, you know, and, and dealing with loss, I think we can exhaust more um, in another episode. But for now, thank you. Mm -hmm. Really, really really appreciate your time sticking with us from 11 until now yeah. we appreciate your time please stay safe um, as well and we look forward to to you coming by um, I also you know, appreciate and, 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 and giving us the thank info you okay very much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate mm -hmm. you people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and last time I I, I, I was mm -hmm. happy to see people reacting yeah but they complained I didn't give, give my number, number. Right, so give the number my then. number is 0722 uh -huh. 822 uh -huh. 928. Nine, two, okay. And there's a lady who said mm. that this coronavirus mm -hmm. and our topic are not mm -hmm. related. Mm -hmm. Let me tell her they are very related. Very related. And uh, we, we, are, we are dealing with the two because yeah. 
this is a time when that is happening. Yes. So they are related, uh -huh. and that is why we are here we're discussing. Here. All right. Yeah. Okay, and of course, we also want to say thank you. Let me just walk over here and just give a brief of the numbers um, to all the people who've called and, and just, um, you know, expressed their concerns as far as COVID-19 is concerned in their families and all. We say thank you very much. We hope that you've been answered to your satisfaction. And, of course, before we say goodbye, just to remind you on the numbers, what we're looking at, and that is as far as the global sphere is concerned, over 2 million have been confirmed to have you know be infected actually with the virus over 137 people have lost their lives and of course 185 regions have been affected and of course in the country we're dealing with 225 people who have been infected with COVID-19 so what we want to say is this is a reminder to all of us to make sure that we try as much as possible and you know observe the rules follow the directives that we have been given and that is wash your hands as often as possible with soap and water sanitize if you're not able Able to wash your hands make sure right now wearing mask is actually a directive so there's no way about it you have to wear your mask in public um, you know so that again we avoid the spread of the coronavirus but importantly make sure that you maintain social distancing again I um, you know we had I um, you know the governor of Isiolo saying this is a very big problem and that is social distancing so do not hold the bashes in your home do not have parties birthday parties anniversaries or whatever do not hold those I um, you know at homes ensure that you maintain social distancing and of course also observe respiratory hygiene amongst so many other directives that we have been given so we have to say goodbye my name is Winnie Lubamba thank you so much for sticking with us from 11 um, a.m. until now we have to say goodbye but I'll see you tomorrow and that is on Feel Good Friday of course we'll be having another amazing discussion as far as COVID-19 is concerned and the impact that it has in our families either um, you know psychological emotional whatever form that we have been impacted impacted rather by COVID-19 so in the meantime please stay safe stay at home if you have to and uh, let's keep each other safe at the end of the day so that we'll be able to beat this COVID-19 pandemic that has brought the world to a standstill. God bless and see you tomorrow.